The announcement today is of the phones from Apple, but also that you are going to have your 5G ultra wideband service in 19 additional U.S. cities, 19 stadiums, and six airports. How, how much closer does that get you to the nationwide coverage in 5G that I know you covet and need? No, I think this is a very important event. I mean, we have been working with our 5G strategy for four years, and we have all the time sort of baked it on top of the, the best 4G network that we have in the nation. So now we have sort of an ultra-wideband, which is arranged in all the phones of, of Apple today, which is just amazing for us. Uh, that is now in more than 55 cities uh, where you can get uh, speeds up to 4 gigabits per second. On top of that, we do nationwide 5G at the same time uh, on a low band, which means that more than 200 million people can access that as well. So I think we are having a long-term strategy that we have been part uh, of working out for years together with our partners. Apple, of course, a very important partner for doing that, all the infrastructure players. So for this is uh, really an important moment for us. 5G just got real in the U.S. because the, the, the share size of iPhones in the U.S. and iPhone users is so important for the consumers that this product now is 5G enabled and especially ultra-wideband enabled that we sort of have been betting on for a long, long time. Well, I, I, I'm not an engineer, uh, Mr. Vesberg, uh, and, and so I tread into this area of 5G versus 4G high-band 5G, which clearly seems to be uh, the breakthrough that, that you guys are leading the way on, versus the low-band uh, uh, 5G, which you just referenced, which you said gives you effectively nationwide coverage. Can you walk the viewer through the difference between the high G and the, uh, the, the high-band 5G and the low-band uh, 5G, which some people have said really isn't 5G, it kind of just gets the 5G thing to light up on your phone. I think that, first of all, it is uh, totally transformative when it comes to 5G ultra wideband, which is built on on high uh, level spectrum, which means that the, the coverage is a little bit shorter, uh, but the performance is enormous. That's where you can get four gigabits per second. And uh, not only you get the high speed, you get an enormous capacity. You can have thousands and hundreds of thousands of phones in very small areas at the same time using uh, the network. And then you have the low latency, the lag to the internet, which means you can do real time, real -time gaming. You can, you can access uh, uh, various cameras like we launched this NFL app where you can have seven different cameras coming from the stadium and you can wherever you are home or in the stadium you can access any of those uh, features you cannot do that on 4G that's the ultra wideband which is on the high spectrum then the low band spectrum where we, we are deploying as well that is giving you a very solid uh, experience but not even close to the ultra wideband of so course and remember Verizon also have the best 4G network on, uh, in the base of that. So forgive me for interrupting then. So the ultra high band, <laughs> the ultra high band will av be available by the end of the year to what percentage of your total customer base versus that, that lower band 5G that is good, but not the gold standard. Can you give me some numbers there? Yeah, 55 cities for, uh, today, and we will have more than 60 cities by year end. Those are the most uh, populated cities uh, of, of the country. And of course, that's all, where all the majority of the traffic is, where all the congestion is, which we now will make congestion free. So that's the big difference. So maybe it's not the hordes of the coverage, but it's where all the traffic and the capacity is, and where you can do totally new innovations. We talked about it today at the keynote, everything from uh, how NFL can access the information, or if it's the uh, multi-gaming that you can do with Wild Rift that's going to be launched very soon. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.